In this tip, we'll learn how to install the IPTF plugin for iSeries Navigator. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and open up a browser and point it to the URL shown here. If you can't read this URL or if you miss it, don't worry about it. Just go back to the introduction to this article on MC Press Online and you can get it there. When you open that URL, your browser will open to a page very much like the one shown here. Near the top of that page is a link to a self-executable file that you can download. Go ahead and download that or run it immediately from that FTP location and install it following all the prompts on the screen. Now there's several different ways you can install it, but they all involve the selective setup. So probably the easiest way and the way that will work with all versions of Client Access is to open up the Client Access Selective Setup menu item from your Windows menu. Go ahead and take all the defaults on Selective Setup. And one thing you will need to change is the uh, location of the installation file. You're probably going to have the location default to your iSeries or wherever you last installed Client Access from. So you may need to change this location here to point to the directory where you installed the executable. You should download it from my view. Okay, once the initial installation has completed, you'll see a list of components you can install for iSeries Navigator and Client Access. Scroll down through your list until you see the IPTF Libraries item and select it, and then click the Next button, and it will install it for you. And once again, go ahead and take all the on-screen defaults and the new plugin will be installed onto your PC. And then the next step will show you how to actually get iSeries Navigator to recognize it. The only thing left to do now is let iSeries Navigator know about your new plugin. To do that, open an iSeries Navigator session and you should be prompted to scan for new plugins. If for some reason you're not, go ahead and reboot and open iSeries Navigator again and you should be prompted this time. Let's go ahead and see how to use your new plugin. So open up iSeries Navigator and you haven't done so already. Drill down to the configuration section and drill down to the fixes. Right click on fixes and select the get IPTF fixes from IBM menu item. You'll be taken to the IPTF website at IBM. You're going to need a IBM user ID and password to log in here, but if you don't have one already, don't worry about it, you can create one from here. The rest of the prompts you'll see here are fairly well self-explanatory. A lot of them are very much like what you'd see if you're ordering PTFs the old-fashioned way on the green screen. You do have a choice of delivery options from here, as well as the ability to add multiple PTFs to your list in a very easy fashion. As you step through these screens, you'll see that most of these options are pretty self-explanatory. From here, you can choose how you want to download the PTF, whether you want an immediate download or you want it delivered via mail. And also, you can choose that if the immediate download is too large for downloading, have, you can choose to have IBM mail it to you. You have to answer a few simple questions like your location. Small Java application will open up here, and you'll just want to take the prompts to allow it to run. And what it's going to do is establish 
will allow you to establish a connection to the iSeries you want to download the PTF to. Enter your contact information here. The contact information shown here will be taken directly from your iSeries, but of course you can change anything you need to. When you click the Next button, your PTF will either begin downloading to your iSeries, if that is the option you chose, or it will be mailed to you, and you'll receive a summary page showing you that it will be mailed. And that's all you need to do to use the iPTF plugin.